One thing that we've been working on recently is trying to understand how air quality varies worldwide. A lot of U.S. embassies have air quality monitors, uh, and they provide pretty basic information on air pollution that's used to understand what's happening in those cities and to protect the people working at the embassy. What we've done uh, is by developing relationships with various embassies around the world, specifically several in Africa, they're sending us the sample media from, from their sensors, and we're able to do additional analysis on those samples. In order to build policies that reduce air pollution, it's important to know what the major sources are, uh, and the data that we extract allows us to get at that information. So we're able to tell whether the important sources are cars and trucks on the road, or burning wood, or something else. So we get the information that we're getting using cell phone camera images. Uh, and so we have special access to these samples from the embassies, uh, but there are other ways to collect similar samples, uh, and if you have a cell phone camera, which billions of people around the world do, they could apply the same method. Another use for this data that we're able to collect is that we can compare to global models and to the output from global satellites that measure or predict air quality. Uh, and so we're able to provide data in parts of the world where previously there wasn't data to do this verification. This project and this work that we're doing actually grew out of a collaboration that started with one of the faculty members at CMU Africa. That collaboration was really important uh, because the CMU Africa part of the team really brought a lot of expertise on computer vision and being able to interpret these cell phone images in a way that we couldn't do. The data that we're producing is unique because in a lot of these locations there isn't a lot of air quality data. Right, so we're adding data to a place where there is very little information and that can be impactful. We also try really hard to work with local stakeholders in each of these locations. Not just the folks at the embassies, but also other academics or other interested local parties who could then take the data and use it either for their own research or for their own advocacy to improve public policy and public health in those locations.